Today we're showcasing Leadprod. The first major WordPress update for 2021 is coming out on March 9th and the WordPress update will be 5.7. So let's take a quick look at all the things that are coming out with this release. When you update, you'll see this splash page and it just gives you a little bit of information on what the major updates are. And since so many people who are working in a WordPress site, you live and breathe in the WordPress editor, at least I hope you are creating all that content that you should for your website then this makes a whole lot of sense. So let's take a look at some of them. One of the first improvements you'll see is the ability to drag a block over. So if I come up to the little blue plus icon and I want to bring a table over, if I left click and drag this, you see it's highlighted and I know exactly where this is going to go. So great feature to give me the, the full control over my editor. The next feature is the full height. So this gives you the ability, if you like say a cover block, then you can take it to the full height of the user's screen. And then each block variation like Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, they will have their own preview and their own display of their descriptions. So you can see a little bit more of what each one does and what you can do with it. For social icon sizes, when you add the icon block, now you have a size area and you can choose between small, normal, large, and huge. Now with buttons, you also have the ability to vertically align them. And before you could choose to show it in a horizontal section, now you can choose to show it in a vertical and they'll show in a column. Your ability to adjust the font sizes have grown. For instance, in list views, you can now adjust the font size here and you can either choose by font size, small, normal, large, huge, or custom. You can also come over and just customize it here. And that new feature is now available in blocks like list. And if you do a code block, it'll do it for that as well. Now, outside of the editor area, there's a really cool update that they've recently done. So if you go to tools and site health, this is where you can get a quick snapshot of how your site is doing in the eyes of WordPress. They'll tell you some issues that you might want to deal with. If your site is not encrypted and has a secure socket layer or an SSL certificate, you notice up here, I have a little triangle. So my site is not secure. It will tell you that you're not on the HTTPS. If you extend this, what it will do is it will update the site to HTTPS. So normally when we walk you through how to do all of that, one of the steps is a manual step of installing a plugin that will search and replace a lot of items in your database. And that's very scary. What they'll do is they'll actually go through, they'll change your site to HTTPS. You wanna make sure that your hosting provider has the secure socket layer, or the SSL certificate turned on for your website. But once it does, this will go out and update the site to HTTPS. They'll also go out and find any of the HTTP version all throughout the database, automatically update that for you. Huge time saver for moving your site from HTTP to HTTPS. And if you want to get a little bit more detail on that, you can watch this video where I walk you through how to install the secured socket layer for your website. But this is really cool. So now it has updated the site to HTTPS and everything in there is good to go. So now you see the little padlock here. And then they've also simplified the default palette for the admin area. You can read a little bit more about the color palette changes in the about update. Another more admin type update that they did is they did a new robots API. So this will let you include filter directors for search engines. For instance, you can do a max image large by default. And that means that the search engines will show a bigger image preview of your blog. And then they've also done a lazy load of iframes. So in previous version, they did a lazy load of images and that just makes your site even faster because if users if, if viewers come to your website and they don't actually get to that part where the picture is, or in this case where the frame is, then they won't have to see that. So it speeds up the site because the resource isn't being loaded for them if they're not going to use it. So it's called lazy load and this is extended to any iframe embeds. And then just a couple of under the hood changes that they made. You can read about those in the article in the description below if you want to get more of that. But some really cool features. One of my favorites is the HTTP to HTTPS simply because that'll make your life easier once you move over. And once you make these updates to your site, another cool thing to do is to set up a landing page for your site to direct viewers to something that you're excited about on your site. The easiest way to do that is to install something like SeedProd. SeedProd is the best landing page builder in WordPress and it lets you do so many cool things. You can start with a blank slate if you are great at design or if you just want to speed up that process or if you just want to get something going, then they have several templates to choose from. Get started by heading over to seedprod.com 
And make sure you use promo code WPBVIP and you'll get the best discount on seed fraud. And now watch this video next where I walk you through step by step on how to use the Gutenberg block editor for updating and editing your WordPress site. And I'll see you over there.